So, how do you solve a problem like Mariah? As my brother said, spoiler alert, you can't. So there you go, I'm just an Australian girl with the world at her feet, working in public relations and communications, who is learning about life and myself every single day. Join me as I tell you stories, share my outlook on life, and just talk utter garbage. This is a podcast where I talk about my world, your world, and the world around us, to hopefully inspire or just entertain. But it'll be fun, I promise. On today's episode, I take you through my amazing journey in New Zealand and also tell you a little bit of a story of why I am an absolute idiot right now. So let's get started. Welcome, I'm back for another episode of How Do You Solve a Problem Like Mariah. Before I go into my amazing tales, triumphs and challenges of New Zealand, I just wanted to share with you what I'm currently dealing with. There will be a photo in the show notes. I'm not going to hide away from the fact that I am a total idiot, but this could have also happened sober. Well, that's what I'm going to tell myself. I actually feel like it could have ended up worse if I was sober. But So on the weekend, I had my auntie's wedding in the beautiful coastal town of Pambula near Marimbula, which my nan is from. So I took Friday off and went with mum and dad and we drove up. Blast from the past because I really, really love that area and spent a lot of my childhood there. But uh, the wedding was on Saturday and it started at 12 and it was really, really nice wedding. Um, food, there was so much food. It was amazing. Anyway, um, I woke up at 2 a.m. with no memory and I looked in the mirror and I had one eye shut and it was bruised. I, yes, I had a black eye. So what had happened was I had sat down on a seat and because the backyard is multi-leveled, I've fallen and fell on my my face. So I had one-on-one with the concrete and I lost. So obviously if I had a pan of drank too much, that might not have happened, but it also could have happened and I might have tried to catch my fall. I am an absolute idiot and you should see my eye right now. It's so, so embarrassing. But anyway, it happened. Um, I'm going to learn a lot from it. And I just want to shout out to my auntie um, for looking after me on her wedding day, making sure I got home okay. So thank you so much, honestly. Uh, The lady and her husband who got me home on the bus to my parents and my parents for looking after me. And also shout out to my mum for actually showering me and putting me to bed. To my friends for the beautiful messages and not to my brother for those, for all that laughter and I know, I'm very, very silly and I'm in a lot of pain at the moment, on and off pain. Um, I'll post a photo so you can see exactly what I did. Anyway, today's been uphill and downhill. I went to the doctor so it isn't broken, we are all good, but I messaged Ashley or as we formally call her now, Shley, because we mentioned the other week, why do we always nickname the first part of someone's name but not the last part so what I call Ashley Ash why is she not Shlee so anyway Shlee messaged me today to make sure I was doing okay and I kind of just said to her that I was okay you know laughing about it but also I was in all sorts I was all good this morning I drove back to Melbourne from home finally got vision in my my left eye and towards the end of the day I was really sleepy But because of my eye, I didn't want to work out and go to the gym because I know I probably should rest. But then I just felt like a fat mess because I wasn't going to the gym and I'd had all weekend off. But then I went and ate a whole Easter egg, my Easter present from work. So it was really, and then I felt shit. So it was a roller coaster of emotions. (laughs) And yeah, anyway, I'm I'm going through moments and it is, it is funny, but also at the same time, um, It's really not ideal, and I don't recommend anyone get to that point where that happens. Um, And also, I am in day two of what we call regrets. So day one's really bad. Day two can often be worse, and day three, you're over anything that you've done and you're ready to move on. So bring on day three, and I'll let you know how we go with that. So anyway, on to my amazing trip. So to make your year better, I'm going to pull in this segment and say, do something that you never thought you would ever do. Mine was hiking and camping, and although it was challenging, I really did have a great time, and 
that wouldn't be normally something I would book for myself, but I'm super, super glad that I did it. Um, and for my life hack, a few life, a few hiking life hacks is New Zealand is called hiking tramping. So if you hike, you are a tramper or a tramp, probably just a tramper. But anyway, they go tramping, not hiking or trekking. So there's a good one. And if you are hiking slash camping, uh, your headlight should be on low beam. If that is hiking etiquette to be considerate to others. So remember that when you're hiking, headlamp on low beam. Also pack thermals because they will actually be lifesavers, really, really lifesavers. So they're my little life hacks. But um, anyway, let's move on. And due to this black eye, a week of washing, a wedding on the weekend and my birthday brunch, which was after the day I flew home, which was also messy and just my whole weekend was gone. I haven't really prepared for this episode, I'm going to be honest. Um, I hoped that all my video and audio from along the journey will save me for this one, but I'm sure I've got a lot of content. So I'm going to share you my journey through my videos and audio that I did while I was away. And I think I'm just going to like add little bits in as I go. So I need to actually physically find the content I have and then mention bits throughout the journey. But um, had a lot of key takeaways and well, you'll definitely see those and it was the most amazing trip. So let's check out my New Zealand journey. So we're officially back from New Zealand and the Women With Drive New Zealand Challenge. The 11 of the women throughout the Cox Automotive Australia and New Zealand business took part in. And I just wanted to discuss some of the key learnings from that trip. And I think that was that no matter whether I am female or a male, that I could achieve anything, whether I have the right mentality and support network behind me. So I think what we learned mostly is that with the right mindset, a positive attitude and teamwork, that you can get through some of the toughest challenges, whether that's personal or professional. And I think I also learned throughout that trip is no matter how tired you are or how mentally drained, five minutes, 10 minutes, any form of break will go a long way into giving you a fresh start or looking at something. So whether that's the top of a mountain and hiking, you know, a really long distance over a long period of time, or whether it's doing a piece of work in the workplace, if you're mentally tired, even the shortest little break can really help in giving you a fresh set of eyes or legs to really accomplish that goal. And also at the same time, not being afraid to ask for help when you need it. I know at times if I physically wasn't prepared or mentally prepared that someone else might've been physically prepared, but not mentally. So we worked together and vice versa to really push ourselves over those challenges and that was just one of the most amazing support networks that you could ever come across when you really really need help just ask for it and I'm sure that anyone within your team will be willing to help it's all about communicating that was one of the key takeaways people aren't going to know if you're struggling so you need to voice that or just helping someone else out just asking if they're okay and if they need help because you know often we are too afraid to ask and if you see someone that's struggling with a piece of work or that needs some time out it's always good just to ask where they are and how they're tracking so that was another key takeaway and the last one was just that we work for an amazing company that's willing to support our women within the Cox Automotive business to be the best people they can be. Okay so I haven't really done much of a video so day one we headed to Mount Aspiring and we actually couldn't get to the car park so we had to walk so we did our first water crossing within the first like five minutes and it was horrendous rain that was one of the biggest challenges so far um, but we learnt to work as a team and to not let anyone behind I'm doing my video not let anyone behind, um, which we can definitely take back when we head back to work. 
as we work as a team. Day two, we walked back and walked up the glacier, which was very, very steep. And a few little injuries. Um, we learned that mental starts to kick in once physical lets you down. Um, so, yeah, I think in work scenarios, we can push through anything um, with the right mentality. Right now, it's day three. Day hasn't finished, but we just went calf deep in water and my boots are very wet and my feet are breathing. But it's a lot colder down here. So, um, we'll keep you updated. But we have learnt a lot about each other and come together as different brands from around the Cox Automotive business. And it's been really good to get to know all the women within the company and their roles within the business. So a lot of great collaboration to come from it. Okay, now I really need to catch up. We gotta cross this. Um, Comment special comments. I think you should go on the right hand side, yeah. and you can block the current. Sounds like a great plan. <laughs> How survivor feeling? Well, it's getting rough out here, guys. <laughs> Who are you voting so, out? It's time to go. Maddie. <laughs> ah, all right, come to my <laughs> We didn't die going across the river. Woo! I'm gonna probably kill myself trying to film this. So. Rosie and I are really hungry for the sandwich. So hungry. What'd you put on yours, Rosie? Um, salad, cheese, chicken, hummus, cranberry, oh. capsicum. Did What's you on yours? opt for the cheese bread? Did I opt for the what? Cheese bread. Like there was cheese crusted bread. Oh. Sorry to break it to you. I got the cheese bread. Yeah. Nearly just lost the gang. But um. He's a nearly found tramp skills. Tramping. A New Zealand delicacy for hiking. Tramps for life. We uh, found. Women with tramps. Women. Tramps for drive. Tramps for drive. So uh, what you have to look for is whilst hiking these orange poles which Christy saw because we had no idea <laughs> all right what's been the highlight of the hike Christy just getting up that rainforest that was hard climbing like a monkey that was hard oh that was really hard actually um are we still going the right way think so. Makes me nervous because we can't see him. How are you going Ellie? Sorry? How are you going? Huh? What was your highlight so far of today? Not dying. You liked the moss. Nah. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear you. Highlight of the hike. Yeah. Getting home. <laughs> hey, there you have it. <laughs> Getting home, highlight of the day. I think we're actually at the point of breaking. <laughs> this is where we're heading up a actual rock face with not a lot of guidance. <sighs> Shit. This is where uh, Simba is from. 
Akuna Matata. It means no worries. We can make it down this. All right. Update on the the hiking. We did make it to the top, even though I actually was going to cry. And um, some of it wasn't all tears, but we'll go into that another time. <laughs> there is. This is the best view, best toilet view. I'll just put it. I'll just put it lightly. The best toilet view in the world. So I'll, I'll let you join the dots. <laughs> All right, I better, I better go. I'm about to um, climb down a very big hill. So, um, um, so close to the bottom, yet I feel so far. This has been one of the hardest days of my life. Getting through this. But, um, fuck. We have absolutely killed it. Killed it to get to this point. Especially if you're not trained or used to doing any of this kind of thing but this was really tough and no video is going to be able to do this justice to you no photo unless you're actually here but I am sliding down what is not a path this is no bloody local hike at home, day walk. This is actually next level. What if we do what we learn? How are you feeling? Accomplished. What did you learn from today? I learned that I can make it with support. Yes, we all, all, yeah, the girls. Yeah, yeah the yeah. girls. <laughs> Rosie? What was the question? How are you feeling? <laughs> What I learned to, wait, how am I feeling or what did I learn oh, today? Sorry. How are you feeling? First? Um, I'm feeling a little worse for wear. <laughs> yeah. What did you learn? Um, what have I learned? That I have a lot more endurance than I thought I did. And then I can climb a fucking mountain. Woo! Yeah. Ali. Um, I'm feeling a bit sore, but fine. And I learned that I to give up. Yeah, always. Christy? <laughs> no, and learnt that I couldn't have got through that if it wasn't for yeah. yeah. No way. If I was on my own, I'd stop. Three. It's a few tears <laughs> at the end. <laughs> I thought it was all going to come out. Um, but you really can achieve anything, I think. Just push yourself and everyone helping as well. That was the biggest thing. If we didn't have each other, we wouldn't have got up there. No. <laughs> Over the um, shoulder filming. Buddy. I learned that mental strength is much more important than physical strength. Than something like that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I learned that my attitude can help other people succeed um, if I approach it positively, and that when I'm struggling, to drop back and find some friends to make it through. Billy. Feeling good. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> she smashed it. <laughs> no, I'm tired if anything. I feel like I'm going to have a really good sleep tonight. But I learned that you, if you put your mind to something, you will achieve it. If you put your whole heart into it, you will achieve it. I wanted to get to that alpine lake and swim in it, and I did that. Yeah, yeah so, so you did it well. Yeah. Well done, gals. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Sorry, how are you feeling? Sarah's feeling amazing and she's... What did she learn about us? Oh yeah, what did you learn about us, Sarah? <laughs> oh, I was extremely impressed with everyone. I think everyone really did put their minds to it and they achieved something that I think you probably didn't think that you would be doing 
a couple of days ago and now you're crossing rivers and climbing up <laughs> crazy rocks, going swimming in freezing lakes. So I'm very proud of everyone. And yes. Everyone should be very proud of themselves as well. Well done, girls. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what did you learn today? All right, how are you feeling? I've learned that I've got a double chin. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm feeling very sore and dishevelled and I was very emotional on my own at one point. But I learnt with the right support network, you can achieve whatever you want. And I learnt that mental, physical can only get you so far and then you have to kick in mentally. And that we work with an amazing bunch of women. Yes! Woo! Yeah. Yeah. We all learnt the same thing. <laughs> so. We learned we that we're legends. We learned that we're too. inspiring Let's legends. Go. Day four, we learned hiking hacks to pitch a tent, find various locations whilst in trouble, and how to save hikers in distress. Me too, I'm doing it now. Um, I think what we learned is that we can work together as a team when under difficult situations and how to keep calm, which we can definitely take back to the workplace. Pay off to our team members by being calm and leading the way in high stress situations and that's always important currently we are currently walking to the boat head back but I think whoever said this is not a challenge was very very wrong we have all been tested physically big time mentally even harder but I think we've learned that as long as you can work well in a team and we have a lot of key women in our business here that whether they manage a team or not you know have always been leaders so we've always always good to learn when to take a step back or when to take a step forward when needed and I think everyone's played a key role in doing that throughout the five days and um we've learned a lot about not only each other but ourselves and take given an opportunity you can achieve whatever as long as you have the right support network and this has definitely been one of the best support networks I've come across in a long time so I think that's it we're done Hilly. just waiting for the boat Okay, so just to recap what I spoke about with the hiking, a lot of the first part you would have heard is us attempting to do a river crossing, um, which was all the rapids. And that was actually quite deep. It was above our knees. Um, so it was quite terrifying. And I think one of the key words or phrases for the trip was be bold, stay cold. And uh, we definitely stayed cold for a majority of the time. Putting on wet boots and wet socks every day was really, really challenging mentally and physically, obviously. Um, so what you heard most of was from day three to Lake Crucible. I'll put a photo in the show notes. But um, essentially it was an hour over a valley, which was fine, you know, flat. Um, two hours up a forest and it was holding onto tree branches and physically pulling yourself up. I also post a photo of that. Uh, there was a river crossing, as I said. And then once you finished over the river, you had that feeling of you nearly finished. And then we looked up and saw the top. And that was so draining. Like, so, so mentally draining. Um, you heard some of it. I was really, really puffed, as you could hear. And as you may be aware, I definitely really need to go to the toilet. So that was one of my issues. And in the end, I managed to scale that rock face in, I think, 30 minutes instead of 45, like they told us, because that's how much I needed to go. Anyway, we won't get into that. But then we swam in like three degrees and we jumped in this lake and it was freezing. I'll post a photo on my face when I got out. 
It's actually really funny. But um, it was really exhilarating. Uh, but then going back down was really, really tough. And what we found is um, it was really hard when you're on your own. You'd find yourself going too far forward or dropping too far back and you were in between groups because obviously a lot of us had different paces. So we found that really tough and that was something we, we mentioned because you had to rely on yourself a little bit more rather than someone else to mentally push you through. And as I said, you know, someone might have been mentally okay but not physically. Someone might have been physically okay but not mentally. So it was good to use our strengths together to get around what we did and to get through that hike, which was one of the toughest days ever mentally for me. Um, But now when I work out, I'll go, it's not as bad as late crucible walk so that was um that was definitely going to be something that we'll uh, get ourselves through but also at the end of this podcast I want to have a couple of little bloopers um we also had a lot of funny jokes some nicknames some I won't go into because they are about myself um but yeah we we definitely learned a lot about each other and we had a lot of fun together and a bond that you know you probably would never have with someone else like I've said um from doing something so mentally tough I think one of the scariest parts is when we got back um two of us hadn't two of our um group hadn't made it back and they made it back about an hour to 45 minutes just before nightfall and that was one of the hardest things is knowing that you still had people out there when you were back at the the hut. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to post a blog so you guys can read a little bit more in detail about what we did and, and, um, you know, where we went and you can definitely see more visuals on that. But, um, I just wanted to give you a bit of an overview of how it went for me and how I'm feeling now. Like obviously with my eye, I'm not feeling (laughs) mentally the greatest, but, um, it was so, so uplifting and um, I know there was a lot that I can take back to my personal and my work life. So I think it just uh, the key learnings is putting yourself into difficult situations for maximum effort and maximum benefits is always, always going to help you learn and grow. I think that was one of the things I learned. So just a few takeaways from that trip and um another takeaway is always take those opportunities because I will never ever book anything like this and I'm so so grateful that I got to go on it so definitely definitely take those opportunities okay so just to cap off um I want to end with a quote that our HR director Snez sent to us in our whatsapp group when we got home And it really, really resonates with me and I thought it was really great, Um, you know, kind of recaps the trip a little bit Um, and also you can use this for your everyday life, your work life or right now I need a bit of motivation. So it is, I choose to live by choice, not by chance, to be motivated, not manipulated, to be useful, not used, to make changes, not excuses, to excel, not compete. To choose self-esteem, not self-pity. I need that one right now. I choose to listen to my inner voice and not the random opinion of others. So, yeah, I thought that was really relevant to our trip. Um, Obviously, we learned a lot about ourselves and each other and that, you know, kind words and and support is always, always helpful. And as you heard, I'm sure I told you some heaps of stuff that I learned along the way. but at the end of the day, I'm really, really grateful that I was given that opportunity um, to come away knowing 10 amazing women, not just within the automotive industry, but just in life. Like they were really great people and we did really have fun. We have a lot of inside jokes and, you know, it's it's so interesting because sometimes you'd never experience that with certain people in your life and to be able to experience it with people that you work with, um, it's really empowering. So. I really, really got a lot out of that and maybe in the future a one-day hike but probably not the full full experience we did. Um, But it was, yeah, really emotionally tough and 
I spent a lot of last week and last week at work feeling pretty drained. And um, I remember Mervyn saying to me, like, are you okay? Like, you seem a bit off. Like, you're right. And I think I was just, like, really overwhelmed by how amazing it was. But at the same time, you know, to have to have people rely on you to push them but also rely on others to push you, it really takes a lot out of you. But it was, yeah, really, really amazing and I can take a lot back from it. Um, obviously I've had a bit of a setback this week, although, um, it is, I'm going to laugh about it and, but at the same time, like I'm going to look like this for probably a couple of weeks. Um, so I'm going to really need my own self-motivation to uplift me. But, um, anyway, that's it from me. And as I'm going to tell myself <laughs> this week, cause it's going to be very, very true is to love yourself. Because if you don't, no one else can. Um, And if I don't love myself in this state, uh, this is me at my worst. So uh, we will talk to you later. And thanks so much. I hope you got something out of today's show and a little bit of what not to do when you drink. But if you liked this podcast, please don't forget to tell your amazing friends. And also subscribe, rate and review on iTunes. It won't take you any more than a few minutes, but it'll really go a long way to help me out and to help other people find my show. You can see more information by clicking on the link in the show notes um, below this podcast. This is where you'll find the picture of my hilarious, quite hideous face right now. But also add me on Instagram where you can find me at underscore Mariah McInnes underscore or my travel page at a travel's antique. Please message me, tell me what you thought about the episode, tell me what you want to hear from in these episodes, just even just message me to chat and connect, I'd love to hear from you guys. But also you can find me at my email address, my underscore Mac in S22 at outlook.com. And if you'd like to read more from me, you can find any form of content on my blog at travelantiques.blog, where also I have a new look. So let me know what you think, I think it's a lot easier to navigate. And what you should read for this fortnight is how to deal with post-trip depression and the beginning of my New Zealand trip starting in Queenstown. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll talk to you later. So I headed to Vietnam late 2018, and the one thing that you don't even think about is if you'll need a visa or not. I was just imagining the amazing food and the beautiful Halong Bay, but luckily for Vietnam visas. They make the whole visa process so, so easy. So to book your visas, please go to the link in the show notes, which I'll add, or in the description, you'll find all the information that you need to know, and they will help you make sure your trip to Vietnam is super amazing. <laughs> go on. We're on day one of our hike. I can't. Hello, Brianna. <laughs> Not with you. Brianna's camera shy. Hey guys, it's such Nicole. a good day. <laughs> it's what? <laughs> Happy to see that. No. Hey guys, it's Nicole. Oh god. Hey guys, it's a haul. <laughs> what did you learn today? Um, I learned that getting my feet wet is a okay. That's all you were gonna say. We can definitely steal what you've said. You should all say exactly the same thing. I I learnt that Brianna doesn't know how to tie laces and I learnt that Christy shouldn't have a camel back. Can do a braid though. (laughs) Can do a braid. No, but we learnt that we are inspirational women. (laughs) You can trek. No, we learnt that if we're wet, cold and miserable, we can still achieve what we achieved (laughs) and get to this hut. Yep. We learnt that. Well, she said, There's a lot of learnings. Mm. Yeah. Are we finished? You know what you no. should do. <laughs> <laughs> the lens is there, man. Oh. You should I cut them up and pretend that that's your private. I'll yeah. call you. I'll call you my mother. <laughs> that's Bre- enough. Yeah. You have to stop. This is going for like. This has already been a minute and t- one minute and twenty seconds. You got to tell me what you're going to take back to the office. The cold. Uh, <laughs> How are you going to pay it forward? Oh, with the, the funny stories. I don't know. You need to stop filming. That is not going anywhere. <laughs> Mariah, stop it. What are the questions? What you learn? you got to say it. Oh. <laughs> WWD. <laughs> <laughs> hey.